Yo, what's up? Until dawn. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I was debating of playing this game uh, in the first place. Uh, reason being is I have seen the gameplay of this game. Um, I haven't seen every single choice, but I definitely have seen the uh, gameplay of it. Let's see how my outcome. Let's see how my outcome comes out. Now, the real reason why I wanted to play this game was because uh, uh, the motion detection, the, the part of the games where I have to hold the con the controller still. Um, <laughs> now, if you've seen uh, <laughs> my other gameplays, uh, more specifically, Man and Madan, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up multiple times, but uh, it, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, is it game time? It's game time. 2015 super massive games oh my goodness oh my goodness here we go oh my god jesus fucking christ dude i just so scary let's go we're ready new game the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping in its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Game time, game time. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Game time. I think this is my very first ever uh, choice based game I've ever seen before. And since this is my first ever one, uh, this, this is actually the last choice based game I, I've played uh, so far. Literally, I played majority of everything. Majority of everything that's mainstream. Oh my god. Emily. I can't believe you actually did this. <laughs> a little bit oh come on she deserves it it is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hannah's been making the moves on him i'm just looking out for my girl oh man they look old as hell just because he's class president oh there were a age range they are mike is my man i am i'm not anybody's man <laughs> whatever you say darling After playing the quarry, this just reminds me of yeah. that game. <laughs> Prankster gangsters. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Oh. That? Hey, Chad said it just be us this weekend. Josh. Who am I? Oh. I right, know what others are up to. Holy shit, this is so weird. Damn, this does look fucking old old school as hell. Mystery man, totems. Yeah! Oh, tutorial priest press and hold or to pick up the note. Oh, shit. This is oh, what the fuck. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Hold on. Time. That is so fire. You look so damn beautiful. Uh, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, so she was trying to get some d -d 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 dick. Oh, 
That's a nice monitor. Damn, all these guys are just like passed out when they're doing like a prank. Can I talk to them? Well, what's that glowing thing over there? Move the controller to look around object. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so fucking badass, dude. Jeremiah Craig, 1984. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Josh. Oh, I wasn't I even done! That's kind of awkward. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Well, this is fucking awkward as so. hell. Yeah. Oh my god. Butterfly. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all oh, got out of hand, just but... a Okay. Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Okay. Press X, uh, wake up, wait, 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 what's the choices? Wake Josh, find others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. Yeah, this it was is like just a prank. Hand. Old school voice acting. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerk. It wasn't serious. Hannah. Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. What? Press the correct action buttons before the timer runs oh, out. Shit. Oh shit! By the way, oh, oh, oh. I'm not a place. I'm not really a. I didn't grow up playing PlayStation, so chill. That's safe. <laughs> oh shit. I don't get why not a lot of other games have uh they haven't used the the feature of the motion control. That's just whack. Follow footprints, follow noise, footprints. Like what? Dude, you could tell you could tell the difference between a human feet and a Oh my god. Jesus fuck shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where oh are you? Oh my god. It should have said animal tracks, like what? Use the touchpad as shown. This is so badass, dude. Hannah! Wait, is there something back here? You can direct light beam by moving the control! Ah, <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is so fire, dude. Okay, this is kind of weird though. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, L1 to walk faster. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm pressing L2, not L1. Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, is that a totem? RIP That's totem The possible The possible death of the person who finds it Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions Each totem piece foretells a possible future event 
how you will play will determine whether or not this prophetic country actually unlocks items the event of the past will become unclear. Found on the mountain by Beth. Okay. L1. I need to remember it's L1, not R2. Huh? What the fuck is that? Is that a flamethrower? Hannah! Is there any way to go over there? No? What the fuck? Why? What the hell was that? I mean, it's a flamethrower, dude. Anna. What'd you expect? Anna. Hello? Let's Anna. talk about it, sister. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Oh man, she just wanted some dick, dude. Anna, Beth? Can't blame my sister. Oh my god, of course, dude. You dropped your phone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh oh. No! No! Shit! No! Get back! Sister forever. Fuck. No! Ah! Oh my god, you. Oh my god. Hannah, let go. Oh. Yellow flag. If we go out, we go outside. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. It is what it is. Analysis, Dr. A.J. Hill. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. <clears throat> there is freedom. This revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. I'll be honest. As all the narrators, so, this dude was my... committed to commence with this game. My least favorite one. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that it was no matter my how upsetting things may get. Least favorite one, but he was the most immersive one. To work through it. Hmm? That's uh, pros and cons. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Uh, oh, I have to, oh shit. <laughs> uh, Scarecrow and the Born. So, how did that picture make you feel? It made me feel Let at me home. Be honest. Uh, it makes me happy. It feels uneasy. Yeah, no, it's not as scary. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It seems peaceful. The sunshine is peaceful. Yeah, yeah it's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. 
interesting. Yeah, it's not scary. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? All by myself? Yes, it would. No, it would not. All week by myself there. I see. Yeah, it's not. It's not. You know. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage uh -huh. was haunted? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm done. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I'd be scared. Yeah, I'd be scared. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is paranormal shit all. is absolutely oh, scary to me. Unknown. If I know a place is haunted, and what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry, we're out oh of my time God. for this session. We'll talk again very soon. If I know a place is haunted, I would not want to associate myself in that place whatsoever. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not a fucking, uh, <laughs> those fucking YouTubers that love exploring haunted places. Fuck that, dude. Hell no. I'd rather disassociate myself from all shit like that, similar to that. That's just too scary for me. Sony computer. Now, like I said in the beginning, until. Until dawn. Like I said in the beginning, um, I'm going to intentionally try to, the choices, I'm going to try to make it out of my own perspective. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to try to make it uh, from the things that I haven't seen. Because, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, do the same thing. Today is the one year anniversary oh. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. The anniversary? Well, hello, friends and fans. Josh. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room yep. for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that... Yeah, I'm going to be honest. We'll I don't know if I would go back there. For, for the sake of my sisters. And, if it was a mystery you know. of what happened. Okay, so... Let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay. okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's get this. Game fucking time.